Okay, we've been talking this afternoon about the results of three sets of studies carried out for the Global Donor Platform for, for Rural Development, which have been dealing with policy coherence, measuring aid flows for agriculture and private sector development. And there are three things that really strike me about our conversation today. The first of those is the importance of country ownership, and if we have the importance of country ownership for agricultural development, what matters for country ownership is leadership, the quality of leadership, a consistent strategic vision. We haven't talked a great deal more about that because that's not what our, our studies were investigating. This is a world of political economy and, and better governance, but it wasn't what we were entrusted to study. The other two things are, are, are closer to what we're studying. And one of those the second thing that we, we, we looked at was private sector development. What does private sector development really mean? And we've identified that there's a dichotomy here, a, a two different ideas of what private sector development is about. One is that it's a, a code word, meaning we must get more investment into rural areas, that capital is the great limitation to agricultural development, and that anything that increases the amount of capital in, in, into rural areas is the thing that we have to do. But there is another very different interpretation of what private sector development is about, and that is about creating the conditions under which investors, big and small, including small farmers, feel that they are able to invest in their businesses and to form linkages along the supply chains. Now that's a lot about trust and institutions, and it's a very different business to trying to increase the total amount of resources, the capital, in the rural areas. And depending on what you're trying to do in, in private sector development, that, that difference really matters. And clarifying that and what the consequences are is a rather important topic. The third thing we've talked about is measuring results. What are the results of agricultural development and how can we measure it? And we've got into that because one of the papers is about measuring the inputs, the resources going into agricultural and rural development, which is not easy because the, the sector is not well enough defined to make it very clear and consistent as to what the resources are going in there. But measurement, however, is something that we have to do in our sector because so many aid agencies are demanding that we measure results and show accountability by the results for the resources we've been given. And there is a very serious conversation in agriculture and rural development about saying, how will we measure our results? What are the indicators by which we will be judged? I'm afraid I don't have those indicators today. This is a work in progress, but it is an important topic. And those are the three big things we talked about today.